Hi, I'm Liz with Out Van About, and this is Curiosity. I'm going to do a short walkthrough for you so you can get acquainted with the van. Here we have your gas lever, and here we have your hood lever. In case you need to recall anything from this walkthrough, I've also included a binder here in between the passenger and driver's seat um, with all this information and any contact information in case you need to ask me any questions. Over here we have a large drawer and on the other side you have the exact same drawer. Here you have your inverter. Simply flip the switch and it will convert the 12 volts of power to 110, 115 volts to use the outlets. So you have an outlet here and then you have an outlet on the wall which I'll show you in a bit. Just remember once you're done using it to turn off the switch, otherwise it will continue to drain power from your battery. And in the back, these drawers open further just by pulling the lever. And to close them, just push them back in and it'll automatically lock in. Over here we have the fridge with an adjustable knob here to adjust the temperature. Here we have an extra cubby uh, for storage space. Here we have a pull-out table. And we have our pull-out drawer. So the pull-out drawer has a sink in the back. Uh, the water will drain right below the sink, so kind of be careful of where you have your feet when you're washing dishes. You have your two burner Coleman stove here. And here you have your kitchenware. In the drawer with your kitchenware, you'll find your propane connector. This piece here, you're going to push it in and screw this here. Make sure it's on tightly. You don't want any propane escaping. And up here, you take your propane cylinder, pop off the black cap, and this piece goes right in here. And you just simply screw it up. Voila. Uh, when you're done using it, always remember to unscrew your propane cylinder. You'll hear a pop before unscrewing this. If you unscrew this before this, then you'll get a lot of escaping propane, and nobody likes that. Up here you have your pan, your pot, your dish towels, your cutting board. Um, you also have a dish scrubber, dish soap, and a little lantern. Over here we have your fridge switch, your deck lights, your outlet, and your solar charge controller. You don't need to do anything with your solar charge controller, it just indicates how much power your batteries have. Your batteries are completely separate from your car battery, so you don't have to worry about draining the car battery. Uh, over here we have your wood panel. These three hooks will hook on to these three hooks up there above the driver and passenger seat. Simply lift this and just hook it onto those three hooks up there. And then on these bottom hooks, you hang our curtain that we have here. It has little holes in it. You also have these magnetic curtains here, these panels. These We'll just stick to the metal framing of the windows and you have the same large or a larger one right over here. Over here on the passenger side, like I mentioned before, you have the exact same storage bin and you have a smaller cubby over here with a dust pan. Your gas pack can be found on the passenger side as well. It takes 87 unleaded gas. And 
to use the storage bin on top, just put the key in here, turn to the right, key in here, turn to the right, and it pops open. Uh, remember to close it and lock it before driving off. You don't want to lose things in the fridge. And that's it.